cousin Kira from Burnley. There's no room at the inn. Mm. Is that the one who's into donk? Mm-hmm. All luminous bikinis and glow sticks, that one. Uh, she sounds all right. Blue Tom Brigade, you'd love her. Oh. All right, David. You all right, Anna? What are you having? Come on. Oh, no. Wait a minute. No. I don't want to talk to you ever again. Look, I'm only trying to make friends. Too late. Something I can take. Oh, you're kidding. What is it? My Becky necklace. Whenever the police take it off me, I feel naked till they give it me back. I don't yes. think you should use the amount of times you've been arrested to show how much something means to you. I suppose. What else can you say about it? Uh, not a lot. How long have you had it? Since we're about 15. Who give it you? I nicked it. Try again. Have you ever thought about going a bit lighter? Hey, what? Did you get my tax? No, David. I just came round here for a natter. Sorry, ladies, I bought you a sec. Oh, this is uh, Sarah's ex. Right, what it is, I think you should let Tina get the rest of her stuff back. Well, I was about to, and then Graham was already up his ladder trying to break in. What else am I supposed to do? No, well, he shouldn't have done that. But um, I, I just think it'd be better all round if we just let him get on with it, both of us. Well, how would you feel if your girlfriend dumped you and then took up with a complete and utter fool? Are you being serious? What? I wouldn't like it, Jason. I mean, Becky chose steam at dawned over me. That is one thing. But at least he owned a pup. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> if Tina's going to dump you for Graham, who's she going to dump him for? A tree stump? Or some hubcaps? Or a Tudor pole tennis ball? I mean, believe me, Jason, I'm as disappointed as you are. How can you be? You were two boyfriends ago. I was engaged to her. Anyway, you've changed your tune. Yeah, well. Slept on it, Anna. Oh, yeah. You up to something? Might be. All right. I've had another thought. Hit me. My mobile. Your mobile. Now, it might not seem like it's got any sentimental value, and even from a child, I'd wrote like that, but if I lost it, not only would I lose everyone's phone numbers, but if I was in an emergency, I wouldn't be able to call for help, would I? So, you see, when you think about it, this is a treasured possession. Plus, I have got loads of pictures of her stored on here, babes. If I lost all these, I'd be well gutted. Firstly, what they're going to say if the thing you value most in the world is your mobile phone? Well, I've got loads of three minutes left. It's so a phone, it's Becky. Good. It's replaceable. You can download the pictures. You can ask people for numbers. Three minutes? And or text. They'll laugh us out the room. So stupid. They want us to go in there with something soppy. Right, well, I can't afford to be soppy, Steve, because I haven't got what to be soppy about. I hate this adoption class. I hate waiting, and I hate being judged. This whole thing is just... Oh, it's so unfair. What's the matter? Nothing. We look happy. Listen to this. There's a couple here who got married behind a waterfall. The very same waterfall where he proposed to her exactly one year before. Where was it? Stratford. Somewhere in America. It's nice though, isn't it? What's wrong, Lloyd? Or should I say, what's right? Nothing, I'm fine. Now, what can I do you for? I work here. So you do. So you do. I'm presuming all this has something to do with her ladyship. Well, no. No, I just dropped her off at the show last night. It was all good. Mm, with her husband. Ah, uh, she never took a husband. She took a little lad for us instead. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Cheryl takes her boy to the musical, and this is the effect it has on you. <sighs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? Walk away, Lloyd. Find someone else to have a crush on. I wish I could, Eileen. But in the words of Billie Holiday, I've got it bad, and that ain't good. Five minutes. Do you need a hand? No. Cheers, mate. I want one who made it happen. I spoke to him. Well, we never asked you to, did we? Do you want your stuff back or what? Four minutes and 50 seconds. You've got over all this pretty quickly, haven't you, David? Yeah. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I have. Pfft. Honestly, I mean, would I thank you go on this? <laughs> well, I think if we can only enter one, then it should really be you. Because I think you're more what they're looking for, you know. 
blonde, brassy, does what it says on the tin, and I do mean that as a compliment. Yeah, I've been thinking about it too. I mean, what do blokes want in a barmaid? They want someone that might have a chance with it. Someone who's not afraid of flashing the old tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> what people want in a barmaid is Becky. Oh. Why don't you just write the four names down on little scraps of paper, scrumple them up and pick a winner? Four. You, Becky, Michelle and Betty. Betty? But she is a barmaid in this pub. Look, whatever you're doing, can you make it quick? Because we're off in a minute. Right, I'll do it now. Let's go. Perfect. Um, what's with the monkey? I can't believe I forgot about him. I can't believe I did. Does he need a car seat? <laughs> oh, he sleeps in his bed with us. Yeah? Do you sometimes get mixed up? I sometimes wake up screaming because I think it's you. Oh, what, when it growls? Ay, 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 nay, then you two. Stop flirting. <laughs> <sighs> What are you taking, Steve? Buster Tough Guts. Mm. Buster Tough Guts? That were Andy's? Um, no, it wasn't. It was mine because Andy's was blonde and had a red jumpsuit. Are you going to pick a winner or not? What's this? Um, it's the fairest barmaid and we're going to have a photo of whoever I pick out of there. Are we all agree? Right, but before we do, I just want to seriously say that I do hope it's one of you two girls. Oh. Because the staff girl, I could not pick a bonnier or more deserving pair. I'm not touching that. Right. Good luck. Anybody else want to add anything? Yeah, I hope it's me. <laughs> Here we go. I feel like Trevor Brookie. Oh, get on with it. <laughs> right. And the winner is... Michelle! Yay! Yay! Yeah, Michelle, don't care what they look. Oh, you rotten! What was that for? No, it just felt like it. Congratulations, Liz. Dee, that were well tight. Michelle were proper chuffed. <laughs> You're a bad, bad man. Yes. Hi, Cheryl, it's Lloyd. I was just wondering how the show was last night. And uh, another thing is, um, well, I'm near yours. So if you fancied, I don't know, a cup of tea or something, isn't there a cafe nearby? Actually, I've, um, I've just remembered. I've got, a, got an appointment at the uh, chiropodist for me bad back. I think we'll take a rain check on that, yeah? See you later. brought then I did. He's refused. No way. What are you going to say when I ask you? It's all in hand. Don't worry. Oh, I like this one. Mm -hmm. Five bed semi. Altering them. Mm -hmm. Only half a mil. Darling, what mm -hmm. have I told you? I'm not going above 450. Okay, okay, okay. Well, what about this one? Oh, older the age. Mm -hmm. Three million nine hundred and fifty thousand pounds. I mean, that's nothing for us. <laughs> Ta da! Blimey, well, thought you were only changing your top. Well, if we're going to enter this thing, we might as well win it. Fancy your chances then? How much perfume have you got on? It's a photo. They can't smell you. Oh yes, they can. Right? Hey, make me look like Faye Dunaway. Sweet photo shoot. Where the field's finest barmaid. We picked Liz's name fair and square out of a hat. Hot pot dish. Didn't we, Liz? So, uh, Buster lost his mate in battle, but he uh, lived to tell the tale. <laughs> and uh, every time I look at him, I, and it makes me think of my brother and uh, reminds me of being a kid again. Which is uh, partly why it means so much to me for my daughter Amy to have a little brother or sister to play with. That was rehearsed. Of course, it was rehearsed. 
It's very nerve-wracking, is this? And if I asked you to hand Buster Tough Nuts over to me... Tough, Tough Guts. Um, I would do so uh, very, very uh, reluctantly. Thank you, Steve. And, Becky, you've brought something with you, too. Yeah. Would you like to explain a little bit about him? Yeah. So, this is my gorilla. And I like him cos he looks like the one my man gave me when I was little. And that's about the only thing she ever did give me. Apart from the old backhander. Anyway, old, yeah, so he's, um... He's been all over the place with me. He's survived a fire and the odd raid or two. And, well, I've collected him from the lost and found at Figlands. I don't know how many times. But, yeah, so, you know, when you've, when you've had a bad day and you just want to cuddle, it's nice to have something that just loves you. So, yeah, um, just that, really. And if I asked you to give your gorilla to me? Well, I won't like it. Why? Because I know how hard it must be. I mean, you know, I, I've thought about this, about these people who have to give up the babies, and... Well, I get it, you know, and I, I, I get the point of this game. You, if you can't look after them and... A good family can give him a home, then surely it's for the best, isn't it? You just hand them over and let someone else give him a good life. And and that is what I think as well. I'm I'm just saying that I you know, I understand that's all. Does your wife calm down a bit? She's just a bit stressed. Look. I'm sorry. Good. Just acted like such a I mean, look at your hoodie. I'll buy some new ones. Don't worry about it. It's about the only qualification you need, isn't it? To be a hoodie. A hood. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd just be an E. Yep. Still, everything's all right, though, isn't it? After, you know. After what? Earlier. In the way she caught Jason's eye. That look. What look? Oh, well, maybe I got it wrong. I just thought you picked up on it too. When? And just before you went up into the flat. Or had you already gone then? Anyway, it's probably nothing. There just looked to be some sort of unresolved tension, I suppose, that's all. Don't get paranoid. Just forget I said anything. Look in that mirror. How could she fancy Jason over that? Eh? She was one of the first women ambulance drivers in Manchester. I was always proud of that. When she died, my mum had it. And she wore it for a while. And then my mum died, you see, so it came to me. I've always been afraid to wear it, though, especially now, cos working in a cafe, I'm dealing with grease a lot, and, uh, I mean, if it slid off my finger and went down the plug hole, I'd never be able to forgive myself. So you've thought about what it would be like to lose it? Oh, yeah, loads. <sighs> I keep it in the back of my knicker drawer. <sighs> hey, hope none of you lot are house robbers. <laughs> Here. Thank you, Anna. And that brings us to you, Eddie. Did you have something special with you? No. No, I didn't have something special with me. Because my something special is a young man in uniform, preparing to defend everyone in this room, including a few others too, including all those little babbies waiting to be given a home. No, my special something is my son, Private Windass, RLC, our very own busted tough cuts. Don't despair. You're in your prime. In my prime? That's the worst thing you could say to me. Who wants to be in their prime? It means I peaked. 
Well, how do you think I feel? I mean, I'm single too, you know. Yeah, but you like being single. Excuse me? Don't you? I thought, you know, you were setting your ways. Is that how you think of me? At least you've achieved something with your life. You've got two kids. And? And I thought you kicked Jesse out because you didn't need him. I kicked Jesse out because he put everything in the world before me. His mother, his parrot, even my own sister. You're wearing slippers. I thought you were no, you know, comfortable. My shoes were rubbing. Doesn't mean I dream of eternal spinsterhood. No. I'm in my prime too, Lloyd, just about. And you're right. Won't last forever. Who doesn't get scared? Street cars. How did Buster Tough Guts go down? Fighting, Mother, he went down fighting. Ooh, I like this one best. Look like that actress, um... Faye Dunaway. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you sure he didn't say anything? Why? Because you're being very quiet. Ma? Ever since you came out the box, look. I saw him follow you in there, you know. Imagine getting married behind a waterfall. <gasps> Honestly, some people. What's this? Oh, these are the little bits of paper we used when Stephen picked the winner out of the hat. A pot dish. I found them and I was emptying the bin. So what are they doing on my table? Why did you cheat, Liz? I didn't. Shall we investigate further? OK. All right. I just fancied my picture in the paper. Is that such a crime? No. Just one little smidgen of attention. As reward for getting up at the crack of dawn every morning, scrabbling around in that cellar, then trying to look half decent. I understand. You couldn't possibly. Everybody loves you. Don't start all that. <sighs> Who wants their picture in the Gazette? The Gazette. Come on, Liz. If you were to ask me, I think the whole competition is tacky, demeaning, and beneath you. And I say that as a friend. I don't know. Like there might still be some tension of the sexual variety. Between me and Jason. Were you born yesterday? 1990. Okay. There's been a change of plan. You should have seen his face. <laughs> and what did he take him? Action man? <laughs> <laughs> well, he moved everyone to tears, didn't he, love? Well, I just spoke from the heart. Look, I'll nip across you what the damage is. We're in the lead. That's all I know. It's not a competition. Of course it is. Uh, see you in the morning. So, <clears throat> why the sudden change of heart? Well, to tell you the truth, I, I wasn't right keen on those pictures. Oh, having a pop at my photography skills. Oh. Come on now, let's be honest. Did it suddenly occur to you that you might just not win? I know. I mean, seeing that new piece at the Stag's Head. Beg your pardon? What? What? I don't say that out loud, then. I was looking out for you. Looking out for both of you. And you're too fragile for this. And I'd hate to see him get hurt. Would you? Or would you love it more than anything on the earth? All right, do you want to know the truth? Yeah. I was making sure you're not using him. <laughs> Oh, get out of my sight. You get out of mine. Right, I'm sat here in my local, minding my own business. Everything's perfect till you walked in. Yeah, right, back off, brother. Use your head, Graham. Right, she's only going out with you to get back at me. I wasn't even going out with Jason to get back at since you. Since the first day I met you, you've been nothing but trouble. Ever since you threw that coffee all over me. That was an accident. And then you were bought in my child? You... I'm not listening to this. And you got engaged to Jason. You trampled all over him. Then 
You walked out on your own father's funeral just so you could get my mum arrested. All right, that's enough now, David. You're so arrogant. And when that doesn't work, when everybody else abandons you, what do you do? You pick the nearest poor sap you can find. And what a coincidence. It just so happens to be David's best mate, Graham. Yeah, well, not anymore. All right, come on. No, why should we? I'm not taking this. Don't worry, Proctor. You won't last long. She's working her way up the street. Who's next, Tina? Dev? Norris? <laughs> Roy Crocker? Uh, your granddad, actually. Yep, Ted. He's my next project. You know, you can stand there scowling all day. I'm only trying to help. Go around shouting the odds. You want to look yourself in the mirror? Yeah, well, that's what he made me do. You know what? You used to be the most beautiful girl in the world, but what are you now? Well, go on. What am I? Now you're just a mess. <laughs> oh, come here! Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll have none of that in here, lads. Thank you. You, do one. Oh, I love you, all right. I don't know what to do. What do I do? If I crying out loud, will you hug the girl? Come on. You can see the next episode of Coronation Street Sunday night at 8.30. And next tonight, we're heading to Dubai to see how the property crash caused a whole load of headaches in Homes from Hell.